In this video, I'm going to show you the orders processor monitor. You go to monitors right here on the left sidebar and you click orders processor. This is a monitor that will only be available to people who chose uh, packages, subscription plans with automatic orders. In order to set the automatic orders account, you need to add, first of all, a buying account. Okay, you need to add an Amazon account. So you need to put your account email, the password, make sure these details are correct, account zip code and account phone. That means you need to go to Amazon and find the default address that you have. If I go here to manage address book, I sign in moment. I'll see that this is the default default address that I have, the default zip code, and I will copy it. Address, phone number, okay? And I'll put it here. It's very, very important that you make sure that you put all the correct item, uh, all the correct data, because if you don't, then the auto orders will not work. Here you can tick this check, uh, you can check this box, is it a Prime account, okay? If your Amazon account is Prime. Once you've done that, you can go down here. This option we added just recently, sometimes Amazon uh, blocks your account or sends you some kind of email saying that, you know, somebody has tried to uh, log into your account, which is basically the monitor, and then it uh, blocks the option for the monitor to enter with the same password it like puts it on some kind of like suspension or hold so if you will add your email account the email account with which you have logged in you are logging in to amazon then the monitor will know to uh, reset your password and like fix it so that the orders will keep running so this is an option for you to do next you go here and you can choose whether to have the monitor on fully automated uh, mode. This will happen when you when this box is checked. Okay, that means that in in a moment that somebody uh, buys a product from your eBay store, the monitor will go purchase the uh, the item from Amazon and. Uh, will update it accordingly with the tracking number and once it's delivered okay uh, if you don't check this box you will have this green button like i showed before in the orders and then you can just click the button and only then the order will start running the, whole, the entire process so some people for example prefer to put it on auto mode during the night and when they wake up in the morning, they uncheck this box and then they want to control each order that they uh, that they make. Next thing is you can tell the monitor if you want it to only order prime products, then you tick it here. Then you can also set what is the maximum order price that you want it to order. Maybe expensive products you wish to do manually. You don't want it to go and buy products that are above $500, for example. You can set it as you wish, of course. Um, max loss account, uh, loss amount. Um, sometimes it can happen that uh, somebody will buy a product for you from eBay uh, before the monitor uh, scan the prices again. And the next time the monitor will scan the prices, the price has gone up on Amazon. So you, the monitor will buy the product and it will be in loss. So you can set what is the loss amount that you want to do. Here, for example, it stands on $8. So above $8 loss, it won't order anything. Next, you can set uh, when, the, um, when to set the order as shipped, okay? can either be after purchase or uh, 
after tracking is uploaded. Up to you how you want to do it. Usually people like to do it after tracking is updated. This is the gift message. Uh, each product on Amazon that has an option to add gift message, the monitor will write whatever it is that you put here. For example, thank you for buying from us. Next, you can set the messages to buyers. As uh, we explained before, there are three messages that are sent to buyers. The first one is when the order is made on Amazon. So the title, you can change everything here, of course. This is how it looks, uh, the default uh, settings. You can write whatever it is that you want here. Your order uh, is in process, okay? You can put it here and then you can use uh, the actual details of the customers. Dear, and then you can put click here, first buyer name. Let's say I delete it just so you can see. Dear, I click here. It will automatically take the buyer's name from the order. Uh, we'd like to let you know that we have received your item and the item details, okay? It's this one. If I click here, it's this one. And so on and so on. You can fix and define it as you want. Feedback. What is the message that you want to give uh, the customers to give automatic feedback? That is a very useful feature. You don't need to go into eBay and start um, editing in bulk and adding you know, the feedback. The monitor will do it all for you. Next thing you can set here is um, when to send uh, thank you messages after how many days. Here it's set on five. Uh, after how many days to say thank you messages uh, when it's sent globally through the GSP program, okay? And the same goes with tracking number message. The tracking number, once it's updated, the customer will get uh, a message. Again, you can define all of this here. And last one, thank you message, a message that you can ask for feedback, for example. You can write here, thank you. From, uh, thank you for buying from us and we would really appreciate if you put your feedback and then you click here feedback URL okay so uh, the customer will see a link to go and place his feedback and that's it you click save change it save changes and close and last is the notification here here you can uh, choose what notifications you want to get to your email okay from the orders processor you can choose email when an order uh, was made successfully or email when tracking number is updated or email when uh, order has failed okay and you put your notification email here whatever email you want to get to the notifications to and that's it save changes this is a very very useful monitor and it works great like magic and really saves you a lot of time just remember here after you set all the uh, all the info that you want to click V so it will save uh, your settings. That's it. Thank you for listening and check out our next videos.